War for Cybertron Netflix Soundwave is a pretty weird one. He's a retool of the normal Siege figure into his typical cassette deck form, and it came out pretty okay with some slight flaws, but I really do like it. The detailing on the side of the cassette deck, the detailing on the front of the cassette deck, everything here is quite, quite good. I'm really a big fan of how everything stores on the back of the figure. It's not quite as good as blaster storage, but it does clean up really nicely and form a great little cassette deck. Granted, the border is yellow instead of gold, like it should be. He also came with two little cassettes, that being Laserbeak and Ravage, and while Laserbeak still Still looks pretty siege like ravage actually gains new detailing making him look more like a cassette which is really nice makes him fit in just a bit better than laser beak when you compare him to the new core classes and their robot modes are also quite good especially whenever you stand them up next to Soundwave or put them even next to the cassette deck form. It looks really, really good. It makes a great display piece. I especially love it whenever like we get cassettes with the cassette guys. It's always nice. For size comparison, here's Big Daddy in vehicle mode. Here is Legacy Crankcase, as well as like Toxitron, Laser Fire, Machine Wars Hoist. Just, I don't really know what to compare this to. It's a cassette deck. Transformation on Netflix Soundwave is pretty simple. It's uh, basically just the G1 conversion. Also, uh, Legacy Buzzsaw Win. A real quick note too. So you'll see he has these gold stripes right here, but the compartment here, if I remove the yellow Buzzsaw, is yellow. That's actually a factory error that affects every copy of this mold. It was apparently supposed to be gold like this, and then the factory just made it yellow for some reason. It's kind of insane. Uh, but you want to start by removing the weapons from the back ports. And then you just want to flip this piece up and then bring down the legs and stretch them out. Take this piece, fold it in. And yes, my sound wave, unfortunately, is partially yellowed. Bring this down, rotate the legs so the uh, cassette deck detailing is inward. Bring the arms out and split them this is how i found out that he was partially yellowed is these antenna pieces which he does have the antennas from the siege one it's kind of a vestigial piece close that up spin him 180 open up the calves and close them up open up the calves bring out the foot and close them up flip out the hands flip out the hands which I will say the forearms do look a little strange on this guy like the detailing just doesn't line up with like the rest of what's going on here same thing with the uh, play buttons on the side skirts open up this back piece and flip out the head which it is a new head distinct from the siege version and then you want to take a shoulder cannon the one with the gray bottom plug that into his shoulder there he has a dedicated port for it and then this one you're gonna take this uh, gray part back here push that forward and then pull this until it clicks into place and then you can put that in his other hand, his his good hand. And so he has one pointer finger and one good hand. But there he is, Netflix Soundwave in all his slightly yellowed glory. And now a quick word from this video sponsor, MioMioArt.com. MioMioArt.com prides herself on creating the highest quality stickers for Transformers, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and more. These stickers have nice holographic foiling as well as flat foiling as well, and they stick to almost any surface you want as well as being waterproof. The current lineup consists of Pokemon fandom stickers and Yu-Gi-Oh stickers and Transformers stickers, so if you want some of your own, go check out her website, link in the description below. Thank you. Robot mode on Soundwave is absolutely fantastic. I know I say it all the time. Also, ignore that buzzsaw that's in his chest. That is a custom. The head sculpt on here is brand new from the Siege version, and it looks more tune accurate, which I quite like. I also think he has red eyes instead of yellow eyes, which is really nice. He does have the finger that can push his eject button and looks great with his minions next to him. Once again, looking at the minions, it's absolutely spectacular how these guys came out. Ravage is a little dumpy, but Laserbeak is really, really good, and both of them have new heads separate from their Siege versions, which is nice. Laserbeak even has dedicated ports on Soundwave's arms to stand and perch. Soundwave himself can get into almost any pose that you want him to. He can push the buttons on his hips, he can crouch down, he can get low. It's really, really nice how pose posable this guy really is and he's also incredibly clean on the back on the back end soundwave overall is just a great toy and i really really like him for size comparisons here he is with legacy toxitron legacy windblade combiner wars laser fire machine wars hoist and shattershock
Our articulation on Netflix Soundwave is pretty good, I will say. I actually quite like the articulation on this guy. So he has a fully ball jointed head. It's able to waggle, look up not very far, look down not very far. He has a waist swivel. His arms can rotate 360. They kind of have a pseudo butterfly as well. They can go out about 90, bicep, oh, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which is pretty nice. And then no wrists, which is unfortunate. I really hope they add a wrist swivel on this guy on the uh, leader class version. And then the hip skirts go up, legs go forward about that far, go, if you move the back skirt, they go back about 90, they go out about 90, bend at about 90, they can go up just slightly, and then he has an ankle pivot, a very slight ankle pivot, and they can go forward just a little bit, but not too much. So yeah, pretty decent articulation on Soundwave, pretty standard, I think. The double jointed elbows really give him an advantage against a lot of figures. Um, as far as his cassettes go, Ravage has a little bit of head movement, a little bit of arm movement, and a little bit of leg movement. Not too much. Um, this is actually like probably my least favorite Ravage figure that we've gotten in a really long time. I just don't like this one. The transformation's clunky and the and the Ravage mode isn't super great. Um, I, I much prefer the uh, the Hound, the Universe Ravage that came out with Hound. So this is what gets displayed on my shelf. And then this one usually hides in Sound Blaster. Um, and then we have Laserbeak, who I actually think is really, really good. Uh, he has wing movement, and he has head movement, and that's really about it. Uh, the legs can fold up, so you can, like, 5mm peg him into, like, people's arms, so that we can perch on other people's arms. But yeah, really, really nice little figure here. Really love this Laserbeak. The Ravage is kind of mid. So, I was getting Soundwave ready for this pose at the end of the video. And I was going to put laser beak in his chest and I drop laser beak and I pick him back up, right? The second I touched him, his leg snapped off. Uh, so that's great. Uh, that's fantastic. Love that. <laughs> um, so we're just going to cut to the, the end. I like Soundwave. I think this is a good set, uh, but you know, th that sucks. And then the yellowing is bad, but the figure is great. Um, hopefully the leader class version is, is just as good as this one, if not better, especially because it's leader class. Uh, but yeah, that's my thoughts. Uh, here's the spin around.